All right, what's going on, y'all? Um, I'm here to talk about just life, period, you know. The thing I get out of life is that you got to live your life. Because nowadays, life's too short. Um, You expect the unexpected. You don't expect it. And about time you do expect it, it's like it's shocking to you and the way I learned with losing loved ones and grieving is, yeah, you're going to grieve and you will never get over it. But you have to live your life because you never know when it's your time. That's what I got out of it. You never know when it's your time. And you can't live with hate, you know, and holding on to something that somebody did to you, you can't do that. You won't be able to live doing it. You see what I'm saying? You won't be able to live doing it. And you won't be able to live life, period, holding on to something because it, it, you won't, won't do no living because you envy somebody and that's what you holding on. You, you can't live like when you envy somebody. Because you focus on that person, you know, and there's just too much you you put on this earth to go through things, you know what I'm saying? But you never expect to lose someone you care about, someone you love, someone you connect to. You never expect those things until it happens. And when it do happen... Yes, it's hard. It's always going to be hard because we all are human. We feel and we love. We cry. We, um, at the end of the day, we're human. We feel it. And with feelings, you're going to feel emotions. You're going to feel sad. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel depressed, stressed because we are all human. You know what I'm saying? But like what I was saying with life too short, you can't just hold on to um, invent somebody and, you know, just hating somebody. And, you know, you can't do those because you, you can't do that, period, because you ain't living. You have to live. You put on this earth to live, to uh, make mistakes, to love, to just live. And you put on this earth, and when you when God put us on this earth, He He put us in that spot. Like He take us through stuff, you know, losing loved ones. He take us through that. It's just it, it's the thing. Is we gonna get through it, or is we gonna let it get the best of us? Yes, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna always be hard because it's gonna always be on your mind, but. You got to find a way out of it. And lately, it has been hard for me. You know, it's times where I feel okay and times where I feel depressed as hell. But I get through it. I get up every day and I move around. And I try not to, you know, just not sleep because this past week, I've been doing a lot of sleeping, you know, with me losing my father, it's just the depression stage. I, I I went through it, and I'm kind of still going through it. I woke up early this morning, just moving around, sitting outside, and I, I did a couple stuff around the house and, you know, just moving and enjoying the sun because today was a good day. And, you know, the sun was out. It wasn't too cold. But it comes times where I I think about my daddy every second and I try to just think of good things and not just the simple fact he's gone, you know, because if I get to thinking of that, that, that put me in the depressed stage, you know, and I try not to make myself get like that, but it's hard. And as, as time go on, it's going to get even harder. Because once you, I'm connected to my daddy, I have a bond with my daddy. And with him no longer being here, it's like a piece of me is gone, you know. 
a piece of my soul is gone. And that's why I say it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a challenge day by day. You know, just going on without him. And I know um, that he in a better place and he no longer feel pain and he no longer going through pain like he was down here. And that's what I try to think of, you know, like he ain't suffering no more. You know what I'm saying? He, he, um, he, he okay now. He good. He, he ain't feeling no more pain. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got to go through that no more because my daddy fought. My daddy fought to the end. To the end, my daddy fought. Even when my daddy was in the hospital, he fought. So I sit back and I think about that. You have to fight even if it, if it caused you to suffer. Because that's what my daddy was doing. Like, you just can't give up. He was fighting even though he was suffering bad. Right? Like, bad, you know. But he fought. He fought. To just see us every day and be around us to talk to us every day. You know, that's what you got to do in life. That's what it's about, fight. Not giving up. And, and that's what he did to his last moments. Like, he fought. And and when God ready for you, he ready for you. He going he gonna to call for you. He, he ready, you know. But that's the thing about it. You got to fight. You just can't give in when you're in pain. You have to continue to fight. Don't give up because you're suffering. That's what my my daddy, he was suffering, but he, he didn't give up. He kept going. Kept going. Even though he was suffering, he kept going. And that's the that's the heart of a line right there. Heart of a line, you got to, even though they, it's, it, you getting beat down, you have to keep going, keep going, find the strength to keep going. That's what it's about. But, uh, yeah, I just have to find ways to keep myself going and fight because that's how I was raised. And I done lost plenty of loved ones these past years. I just, you, it's going to hurt. It's going to always hurt. You just have to keep fighting. And that, that's life. That, that's living. That's called living. We all live and we all have to go one day. It's the, it's the point of how you go. Is you going to go, you know, just giving up or is you going to fight? And continue to fight and to God be like, come on, just come on, you know. Or is you going to give up, you know. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. I don't care how much I'm suffering. It, I'm just going to fight. If it comes to a point where I can't fight no more, I'm going to still continue to fight until... My last breath, you know, that's just, that's just me. That's just my DNA. It's, 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 just, you know what I'm saying? It's in my DNA, you know, it's to fight. And that's what I'm doing now. Even though I'm hurting, I'm in pain every single day, not just because I'm grieving. I'm in pain every single day. I'm, I'm not like one of these working person you know, to get up every day and go to work and do stuff. You know, God challenged me, you know, but he also gave me the will to live on my own, to do things on my own. But it's a challenge, and that's part of being human. You get tested, but can you overcome it? Can you survive? Can you go day by day and push on? It's a challenge. It is. But that's what God wants uh, want to do, to see how you overcome that challenge. And he put us here to give us a challenge, to test us and see where we can overcome. And we have to fight. 
But um, I'm going to get off here. But uh, yeah, I just had to talk to y'all and let y'all know that 